Describing his fifth career win as domination, well, quite honestly, is an understatement. Here's Chase Elliott's 2019 Napa Auto Parts, Watkins Glen, race to win, Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. And today's car, well, guys, it is special. It is Chase Elliott's 2019 Watkins Glen Road Course Northeastern beating and banging racing race win diecast. This is the first Napa Auto Parts 124. I've gotten very intrigued to see how uh, the whole paint scheme is. So, uh, so of course, this is the front of the box. You got the car, you know, kind of like a preview window. I mean, I kind of wish it was a little bit more. I think they could make it a little bit further back to kind of give it a little bit more uh, detail. You know, that's just me. That's just me. So you have. 2019 race winner got the chase elliott car here lionel racing the official die cast of nascar standard finished arc look i might buy a lot of die cast but i ain't about to pay 120 dollars for an elite autographed car i'm just saying uh 2019 watkins Glen winner so you go over here to the roof of it of uh, the box you got monster energy nascar cup series and guys that's gonna be uh that's gonna be going away next year so Take one last good look at it. You got the race win sticker here. You got a uh, race diversion. Over here on the back end of the box, you got the uh, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series season. Now this this schedule right here, and I'll kind of show it a little bit closer, but this schedule, take one good look at it because in 2020, you're not gonna see a lot of this stuff. And you got this side here. You got the, uh, the official die cast tag right here. One of, let's call it 1,500. This is one of 1,500. Uh, it's 1,489, which I don't know why, but that, that just seems like such a small amount when you really think about it. I mean, this is NASCAR's most popular driver, and it's a race to win die cast. Without further ado, let's go and get this Watkins going race to win die cast from 2019 out of the box. I mean, wow, dudes. Holy cow, folks. Is this a beautiful die cast? You got raced wear damage. You got scrapes. I mean, my God, man. You even got a scraped up left rear here. Holy cow, dude. This is, oh my God. I, I'm, I'm, I am tickled pink to get this thing off the base. And let's just, let's just get that done real quick. Finally got the base off of this thing. And oh my Jesus, man. Is this a beautiful 124 it's not a clean raced version and that's what i appreciate so much this is not a clean raced version this has got the dirt it's got the grime it's got all the hogwash you want on it and before we dig into it a little bit more let's check out some of the uh, little accessories that come along with it chase elliott's watkins Glen international go bowling at the Glen winner uh no reference to uh uh, Watkins Glen, New York, August 4th, 2019. I remember watching this race, and let me tell you, it was a complete blowout. This dude won both of the stages. I mean, this dude, let me tell you, man, this cat was, he was hot dogging, man. He won both of the stages. He won the race. He dominated. He he blew the competition out of the water. Uh, time of race, two hours, 14 minutes, and 17 seconds. Started first, too. I mean, the dude was on pole. He dominated that entire race, man. I mean, he he dominated that race. Total laps 90 for 220.5 miles. Uh, only four cautions for 13 laps. Kind of low for a road course. Uh, laps led, only 80 laps. So, I mean, he, like I said, it was domination. I mean, 80 out of 90 laps, that is unbelievable uh, when you consider how long each lap is at Watkins Glen. Margin of victory, uh, about half uh, a full second so he wasn't like he he blew him out of the water to a distance but i mean statistically speaking i mean domination elliot gets repeat win at watkins Glen in the 2019 go bowling at the Glen. hendrick motorsports driver chase elliot drove a near perfect race to put his number nine napa auto parts camaro in victory lane at watkins Glen international for the second year in a row at the track where he earned his first win in the sports top series just one year prior Elliott won all three stages from the pole position, becoming just the fifth driver to win back-to-back -back races at the Glen. And I think the last one that did that was Marcus Ambrose in 2011 and 2012. Elliott led 80 of the race's 90 laps and won by a margin of 0.454 seconds. Race version, GM, legal jargon, 
awesome, dude. Awesome. And of course, with every race to win 124, you do get a small little race win sticker. And of course, you have the uh, the Lionel Racing, uh, what is it, Lionel Garage. And just in case, if you're wondering, uh, they don't give you any confetti anymore with the 124 scales uh, in 2019. Now, will it return in 2020? I highly doubt it. So we'll go ahead and get it started with the nose over here. So you got Napa Auto Parts on the hood. You got the, of course, the beautiful chrome hood pins. You got the ZL1 decals there. And uh, believe it or not, there's actually a, a hole opening on the hood. So that's a really cool casting right there. And of course, over here on the, the windshield, you got the good old windshield wiper uh, decal. Of course, you know, it, it, it looks really poor in my opinion because it has the white outlining. In my opinion, it would look much better if they just left it off. That's just me. Uh, you got the uh, Chevrolet bow tie decals here. No uh, spots or banner because, of course, Monster Energy clashes with uh, good old Mountain Dew products. Over here on the nose of the car, you got the, uh, once again, you got the bow tie decal. Andrew Motorsports. I mean, you could just see, like, all the little specks and dirt of, you know, and grime and just everything on the nose of this. I mean, I gotta say, though, beautiful job wrapping the headlights. Great job lying out there. You got two little... Uh, uh, grill tape tags got the uh, the black splitter going on and that's the 2019 splitter that's not the 2018 so they had to do they had to update the mold for the year uh hendrick motorsports there move at a rock sunoco i mean beautiful man beautiful i love that 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 napa blue man let me tell you beautiful shade of blue uh chase Elliott number nine there i mean no front damage just a little bit of uh you know some some good old uh dirt and grime you picked up on the racetrack then over here on the left side of the car, you got uh, NASCAR race car. Tune in NASCAR Heat 4 TV NASCAR Heat Pro League uh, Chase Elliott number nine, and I love that they actually got the number nine centered, unlike the uh, 164 die casts, like the primary paint scheme, the non-raced version. Oh my God, they have the nine like all the way forward or all the way back. It looks terrible. Chase Elliott, beautiful font, I might add. Got the I believe that's the Georgia flag. Uh, Exalta, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, Simeons. That was his second win of 2019, which, of course, the first win being at Talladega. And if you want to see that raced version die cast review in the 124 scale, I'll have a link in the description below. I love that die cast. Kelly Blue Book. Not really sure what that uh, the photo is there. I think that's to his, uh, I think it's to one of his family members. Valvoline, Napa Auto Parts. Uh, no, honorary pit crew. I'm not really sure what the story is about that one. Honorary pit crew member, not really sure. I think it's J something with a P. Uh, so Napa Auto Parts, Hooters, uh, Mountain Dew, Can I Square 3M, Goodyear. I mean, just look at the little dirts and dirt and grime around here. You could tell this was kind of pushed in a little bit. And you got like just all the little specks around this die cast. I mean, this thing is just gorgeous, man. I mean, I've... Like, I'm a very spare 124 collector. Like, I don't collect them religiously. I like to collect the Chase Elliott Raced Wins. You know, I did get the, the, the Brad Kozlowski Worth car because that's my favorite paint scheme of the year. And, uh, I mean, this, this is just beautiful, man. You know, maybe I'll get the, the normal 124 Napa Auto Parts car. You know, maybe one day. I don't know. But I like to stick with the raced version ones because I like to have, a mint, like, a very small amount of 124s because it makes me appreciate them more get a lot of like tire rubs and uh, scrapes all around the fender well here i mean that right there that has to be from some contact because that's the goodyear lettering's run off now i don't remember him burning the tires out uh that bad i don't remember that so i think that's from uh i think that's from some actual on track contacts i don't know where i don't know when uh, but that's that's pretty cool also something i just noticed on the front left here the number nine marked on the tire right? i give lionel a lot of crap right that's great detail right there. That is great detail. Love that. Little scrapes. I mean, you even got the whole window decal because apparently on the actual race car, this part here is actually see-through too. Where the rivets are, like it actually comes back further, which is quite interesting. I didn't really uh, know why that does that, but I guess it's just part of the Camaro body. Holy Jesus, man. Is the blue on this die cast... <laughs> And I was about to say, what the heck's wrong with the auto care decal here? No, that's actually some scrapes on the racetrack. I think. Wait, what the heck's going on with this right here? What the heck? Okay. Oh, that that's cool. Thank you, Lion. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Lionel decided to take a fat oof with the Napa Auto Parts decal here. I mean, I guess I guess it's an Appa 
I don't care Camaro now that's cool I don't even know if that's raised to wear damage or not I'll have to check that out on the 164 eventually uh Valvoline CL1 uh you got the 2019 spec spoiler now I don't know which spoiler they ran at the track I think it was this one uh because they've kind of rotated the rules package every different week uh, in 2019 so it's kind of hard to keep up with everything now over here to the right side of the car now this side is much more i would say clean compared to the left side but you know i i still think it looks beautiful i mean it's just a gorgeous die cast i love the napa paint scheme like say what you want he could run it for 10 years man he could pull logano and just run it every time as is this primary like the like the Penske scallops I'd be okay with it because it's a very good looking car but for the, for the I can't help for the life of me that their 164s are are, are, are are a disaster you can ask my buddies race day 2011 OBB Napa car it's got glitter it's the numbers all the way forward it's just oof so of course you got Napa auto parts Valvoline Kelly Blue Book notice on this side it only has one race win sticker this side of course was you know with all the victory lane shots and whatnot and then chase Elliott, you know putting the sticker on the car uh big detail here though big detail no right side window love that so i like how lionel does that no right side window i appreciate that along the right front here i mean you got a lot of you know dirt and grime and what the heck is that yep right there Yep, you can definitely tell that's a that's an issue by Lionel. It literally just scrapes off. Gotta love that. And of course, you got the uh, the right front Goodyear. I mean, just beautiful, man. I just I love the attention to detail on these tires. I mean, look, Lionel does some things very good and some things bad, like doing the waves. I love the idea of having diecast waves. But man, little things like that really irk me when a 124. Like 124 should be spotless as far as I'm concerned. The amount of money you had to pay for these, they should be spotless. 100% perfect, pristine, clear. Everything should be perfect. Uh, that right there should have never been off the assembly line. I'm sorry. It should have never been the amount of money people pay for these things. It, it should never roll off the assembly line like that. That is my honest opinion. And then, of course, over here on the roof, you got the big old number nine. I love that, man. I wish it was a little bit more to the right, though, a little bit more centered. You got Napa know-how here. Beautiful. You also got the little TV cam there. Chase Elliott. Of course, you got your little, uh, you know, your, your wedge wrench and all that jazz. You got your little inputs. Um, I think this is, uh, yeah, that, that's the DIN number there. So that'd be 1157 of the production line because they made, what, like 1,500 Napa auto parts over here on the deck lid. And with it being a ARC, deck lid does not open so we got the hood open here guys wow man this looks freaking beautiful i love that and i love how lionel actually puts the the, the under stickers on the hood and you can see napa auto parts mountain dew kelly blue book hooters wicks air filters and chevrolet and of course you have all the hinges and all that detail there and of course you have the engine block there i wish they could get some like some lettering or something of course the hood is not the only thing that opens on this car you got roof flaps love that and if you're new to these ARC 124s or any 124 in general, uh, the front wheels do turn. So these are very, uh, you know, to some people, they might be like, oh, no, no big deal. But to me, that is a huge deal. And I'm glad they still make it like this because, man, I, the, being able to pose the die cast, I mean, in my opinion, that makes all the difference. Folks, here is the comparison of the 2018 and the 2019 Watkins Glen Race to Win cup die cast and you can clearly see both paint schemes are drastically different you have the sun energy one joint which is you know beautiful beautiful blue not not too far off from the napa auto parts blue uh but of course sun energy one leaving uh you know hendrick motorsports and chase elliott which is a shame because he's had some man he's had some hot rod paint schemes from them uh, but napa auto parts picked up the sponsorship for watkins Glen, and a uh, beautiful car man i mean it's the first time Chase Elliott has went to Victory Lane in the Napa Auto Parts car without any playoff stickers. So if you think about it, this is the first true clean raced version die cast. I know that's kind of ironic, but I'm not a big fan of playoff stuff. I'm not. I really am not. Uh, of course, I'll be having his Roval win soon. So you got the Chase Elliott joint. It's got the little bit of a, a longer sun banner here. And of course, you know, the, the windshield wipers facing the different uh you know direction but yeah definitely really cool this was chase elliott's first win this is chase elliott's believe it or not guys his fifth win already thank you all so much for watching the video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of my new content guys hope you're having a great one diecast buffet signing off